I started it in 2003, I think. A lot of it came from listening to music, as a lot of these things do. Listening to a piece by Stephen Stapleton and Jeff Cox called The Grave and Beautiful Name of Sadness. It's like a popular verse soundtrack to Nosferatu. I'd been to Romania to visit someone and just the Carpathian Mountains, it kind of formed the atmosphere. And I was just into the whole rape revenge genre and just trying to sort of be logical about it. I've always enjoyed taking things from the trash, really. It's like alchemy, it's so disreputable genres, whether it's rape revenge or pornography. It's just looking at that genre and just taking the sensational elements out of it, really. Because I always had a problem with the, that those films with, you know, the rape is often shown and it's kind of titillating. It doesn't work for me. I wanted to Meg is próbáltam erre, az egyik férfi megfogta a hajamat és visszarántott. Aztán megint megpróbáltam kiugrani, megint megfogta a hajamat és visszarántott. Aztán harmadszóra már kiengedett. It's interesting, I was in jail one night and you meet criminals who actually are, can be really funny, really charming. So just this idea of someone being evil all the time, it just, for me, it doesn't make sense. And this idea that, you know, people have done something really abhorrent. What if you meet them 10, 20 years later? Te nem szereted ezt az embert. Te te úgy látom, igen. Rendes ember. Csak most ismerted meg. You're looking at it from the assailant's point of view, looking at it from the, the victim's point of view, but also the idea of counter vengeance, that she gets revenge on someone, but that someone has kids, that someone has relatives. I wanted the audience to be a bit like, like a jury, really, just to decide for themselves. Is someone wor worthy of forgiveness or not? I didn't want to hand that on, on a plate to, to the audience. Why did you come here? 